Hi everyone, I arrived in Germany yesterday. I'm happy to be here in my hometown Hamburg and I'm planning to go down to the harbor area now to show you some of my favorite places. at the Speicherstadt and the Speicherstadt is the world's largest historical warehouse complex. It was started to build at 1883 and was opened at 1885 but finally finished with a big ceremony in 1927 with Emperor Wilhelm II. So these warehouses have usually five stories and the first story is not for um, any storage. It is usually used for shipping because Hamburg experiences frequent floodings from storm surges. So very often the first floor will be flooded uh, during winter and the upper stories are used for the storage of tea, coffee and spices. And this is true till to this day and there are a lot of specialists who taste the teas, the coffees, mix them, um, same with the spices and send samples out. So this is very interesting. And um, today of course not all of these warehouses are in use for storage. A lot of them have turned into museums and some of them don't store tea, coffee or spices anymore. A lot of them store oriental carpets. Some of the museums that you can find here are the Miniature Wonderland and the Miniature Wonderland is a huge exposition of miniature trains and worlds around it. It's very interesting. I'm not going in there today. I don't even know if many of them are open at this time of COVID. There's also the Hamburg dungeon, which is kind of scary. Then there is the Custom Museum, the Zoll Museum and lots of other museums.
it's been a very long day. I've been on my feet for hours and I'm so ready to hit the hay. But before that, I want to show you something that I really, really love and that I cannot buy or make myself in Texas. And I'm talking about Nazi Krabben. Look at this. And I can imagine that someone who's not familiar with it thinks that looks like something really weird. And um, so actually they are very, very tiny little shrimps but they taste different. They have a more intense taste and, and yeah, they, they just taste different. I cannot describe them. They're really good. I love to eat them like that. Mmm, so delicious. Taking these tiny little things out of their shells is quite some work and that makes them really, really expensive. My favorite way to eat them is as Krabbensalat, Nazi Krabbensalat. So they're basically in mayonnaise and on a nice little roll. And that is just such a dream to eat. I love it. Mm. <laughs> I've missed that so much. Yes, so that's it for today. And I will now pay attention to my jet lag. Good night.